Welcome to Collecting My Childhood. Today I will be showcasing Gashapon figures from the Pokemon figure collection and discussing my experience with Gashapon machines and how I came to find out about this series. When I was 12 my grandparents took my little sister and I to Disney World during the summer. We took a red-eye flight to Florida and arrived just after midnight. We all wanted to eat after landing and IHOP was one of the few places open near our hotel. As soon as I walked through the door my eyes lit up, because just past the hostess stand was a Gashapon machine. I had only ever seen Gashapon machines at my local movie theater in the arcade, with the toys usually being themed around Pixar and Disney movies. I quickly ate my chicken tenders and beelined over to the Gashapon machine to see what toys were available. They were mostly Disney related, but there was one series for Pokemon. I had never seen Pokemon-related Gashapon figures before. I had to have them. It cost $1 to use the Gashapon machines. The only issue was that my coin pouch was feeling a little light with only 75 cents. My grandparents told me it was a waste of money. So my sister and I started searching for quarters that may have fallen on the floor to no luck. Out of desperation, I reached underneath the Gashapon machine and found two quarters. I loaded the quarters in and cranked the handle out popped Professor Oak. I remember being disappointed at the time because I really wanted Ash or Pikachu. My sister looked at me with confusion and said, That's not a Pokemon? To my annoyance. It honestly didn't matter since it ended up falling out of my pocket on a ride later on the trip. As a kid, I would bring my toys everywhere which meant I would lose them from time to time when we went out. Well, that's the end of my little story. Time to showcase the figures and see what all the fuss is about. The figures from this collection are officially and generically named the Pokemon Figure Collection. Because of their appearance, they are unofficially and more commonly referred to as dome figures or case figures. Having learned from the unfortunate issue with the Burger King Kids Meal Pokemon Ball containers, the design of this toy has a hole at the top and two holes at the bottom that serve as a preventative measure against suffocation for young children. These holes are also used to connect the figures allowing them to stack on top of one another and keep them in place so they don't fall down. There were a total of eight parts in this set released between the years 2000 to 2001 with the last two being re-releases of previous parts. The Professor Oak I got in 2005 must have been old stock from one of the later sets. I think the Disney-related Gashapon might have been more popular since we were so close to Disney World. I wanted to share that story because I remember this time in my life fondly. Childhood was a similar time for me where my only concern was getting my hands on anything that was associated with Pokemon. That Professor Oak figure was actually the last thing I bought that was Pokemon related until I got a bit older. I remember feeling bittersweet about that trip like it marked the end of my childhood. As time goes on, I think back more and more on the memories that Pokemon allowed me to have with my family and friends. Pokemon is still popular to this day, which makes it relatable to people of all ages. Every day there are new kids that are finding out about it, while adults are getting back into it. I just entered my 30s, but I still continue to enjoy and collect the things that came from my childhood and hope to eventually share them with my kids. Let me know if you collected these too. Thank you for watching.